This is Shelley Craft coming to you live on SNN Live on location in New York City. With me is Rashid Ahmed, Biomark Diagnostics, publicly traded company, and the symbol is BMKDF. Rashid, welcome to SNN Live. Thank you very much, Shelley, to have me on the show. Thank you. It's good to have you. Now, let's give the audience an overview on the company. Uh, Biomark is a new generation of diagnostics uh, using a science called metabolomics. I think it's very disruptive. We are looking for early diagnosis of cancer. I think we have a solution. Our solution will be in the market in Canada in the next 12 months, followed by a new uh, FDA-approved uh, product within uh, 12 months thereafter. You know, the diagnostics area of cancer is almost new and unique in comparison to all of the developments that have come out of the cancer market. What is uh, the differentiating factor of your uh, test kit? Our technology is very different. Uh, we're looking at the early genesis of, uh, of cancer, tumor genesis, and the way we're looking at it is really looking at the changes in the metabolites. So Biomark is really centered around two elements. One is understanding the metabolites which are associated with different cancers. The second is really developing technologies to pick those metabolites and identifying them. So you seem, I haven't heard the word metabolite used in cancer detection so far in my career. Are you the first ones doing this? I think uh, we, we're having the early genesis of competition. We're having early other companies coming into this area. But six years ago, we, we started probably f one of the early companies to look at metabolites. So that's kind of saying to me that you've used metabolites to build a diagnostic platform around it. How did you discover this? Where was it discovered? Tell me a little bit more. It's a fascinating story. Uh, we licensed the technology from the University of Manitoba in 2006. And it was developed by Dr. Daniel Sitar. Uh, he looked at uh, cancer from a different uh, perspective. He, he, he started looking at cancer from an enzyme standpoint. And his technology was unique in the sense of using a therapeutic agent for diagnostic it indication. So uh, a subject is subjected to 200 milligrams of a drug called am amantadine. And that drug is converted into a stable form of a byproduct. And we collect those uh, metabolites and quantify it. So it's a very, very different approach. Now, for many of our, you know, the listeners and investors, I think it's very important to realize that a lot of cancers at early stages really um, express a lot of uh, uh, metabolites. And our technology captures that indirectly. So it's very, very different perspective on how we look at cancer. So is it in a matter of, um, first of all, it's across the board cancers, is it tumors, you know, is it blood cancer, you know, tell me. The, uh, the subject of interest for us is really an upregulation of enzyme called SSAT. Uh, it's across all different tumors, and that's, that, that's what gives us a lot of flexibility in our technology. So from your standpoint, um, you know, it's new. It will undoubtedly be a product that goes into the market for analysis by, you know, uh, cancer doctors of all kinds everywhere. What do you think the adoption rate would be based on other products that are out there currently? I think from a cost perspective, our technology is non-invasive, it's cost-effective, cost it's very specific and sensitive. We also have two other products in our pipeline uh, from, uh, from, you know, probably increase the s sensitivity of our test, specificity of our test. So we've got three major assays that we're rolling out. So the first assay, w w what we're talking about, is going to be for general cancer alert, followed by a very specific test on the same sample where we can basically look at the kind of cancer a patient has, but also the stage of cancer that the patient has. So my question is, at what point during or before the diagnosis is this test kit going to be imparted? I think uh, from our standpoint, I think it's the first red alert when patients are obviously, um, you know, uh, having specific symptoms. I think it's important. Or we can even uh, look at this test for people over 40 years of age as an annual uh, uh, checkup. As if in screening. Absolutely. It's just like PSA. Mm -hmm. So um, let's talk about some new developments. Anything new to report? Any alerts for us about the company? 
Now, a couple of uh, really exciting stuff that, ha that has happened with, with the company. We finished 200 patient um, trials. We are just about to uh, have our first uh, readout in the last quarter of this year. Um, it's it's a really a formative trial for us. We also have engaged uh, um, additional research, uh, especially uh, in lung cancer. We've got uh, two trials going on in Canada, one with Dr. James Bond. He's going to be focused on um, uh, surgical intervention for lung cancer patients. Uh, the second one is really looking at response to treatment for chemotherapy uh, patients as well. Well, you know, they say cancer early detection means more than anything else in the whole treatment of the cancer, right? No, absolutely. Uh, most cancers can be treated if, if they're detected early. So that's, that's, that's always been our mantra at, uh, at Biomark, uh, finding the right technologies for early detection of cancer. What is your background? My background, I grew up uh, in, in Kenya. I got a scholarship to go to the United States, uh, Miami of Ohio. Um, my early, um, um, I guess, genesis is really in, in the world of medicine and, math and mathematics. Uh, I finished uh, my undergraduate at uh, the University of um, Miami University. Got a scholarship also for my MBA at the Richard Ivey School in Canada. So now you've got a company in the diagnostic of cancer market that's going to take you into a completely new world. Is the company ready for this? I think we're totally ready for, for the next transformation. I think uh, the last eight years, has, you know, we've put our heads down and uh, you know, tried to find the next disruptive uh, technology for, you know, to usher into the world of diagnostics. So this is an overnight eight-year success, right? <laughs> I think it's going to be fun. It's, I think it's going to be fun for our shareholders. I think it's going to be fantastic for uh, the patients, the medical community, and insurance payers as well. Now, let's get your website out to our audience, if you would. It's www.biomarkdiagnostics.com. Ladies and gentlemen, Rashid Ahmed, Biomark Diagnostics. It's a publicly traded company, and the symbol is BMKDF. I'm Shelley Kraft. This is SNN Live, and we're coming to you on location in New York City. Rashid, thank you very much. What a pleasure. Pleasure.